Good morning, Joy Zone. We are ready for another amazing service with you, your brother, your sister, your cousin, whoever is watching with you today. So get ready to have a great time. We are going to sing. We're going to learn the word of God and he is going to pour into your life. Here we go. The shepherds came to see the baby Stood by his mother's side Here lay the Savior inside a manger Oh, what a glorious night Oh, what a glorious night I hear the angels singing verse today. So I want you guys to get your Bibles out at home or your phone or your iPad, whatever you have, and open up to Isaiah 9, 6. And it says, and in his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. We're going to say it one more time. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Again, it's found in Isaiah 9, 6. I want you guys to highlight that in your Bibles, highlight it with your app, and remember it. Okay, guys? See you next time. We also try to stick to the four main food groups. Candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup.
All right, Joy Zone, it's time for our lesson today. So go ahead and get your Bible out. Um, if you've got a phone or a tablet, you can grab that and open it to the book of Matthew, very first book in the New Testament, Matthew chapter two. And today we're gonna be looking at the story of the wise men whenever they came to worship Jesus with their gifts. So the story starts off and there was a guy named Herod who was king and he didn't like the fact that he had heard Jesus was born. So he decides he's gonna get rid of all the babies so that nobody can take the throne. So he hears that the wise men are coming, right? They come to where Herod is and said, we're going, we're following this star, we're going to worship Jesus. And he's like, you know what? After you find him, tell me where he is so that I too can go and worship. And so they're thinking, okay, well, long story short, I'm gonna to jump to the end a little bit. They find out that Herod was really a bad guy. And so they end up going another way home and not telling him where Jesus is. But as they leave the palace, they're on their way to worship Jesus. So Matthew chapter two, look at this verse here with me. Look with me in verse uh, nine. It says, when they, when they had heard the king, they departed. So they listened to his story, what he had said. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and it stood over where the young child was. Verse 10, and when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Another translation says, when they saw the star, they shouted joyfully. Why don't you take a second and just make some noise like you're really excited about something, right? They get so excited because they see and they know they have arrived at the place where Jesus is. And it says, as they came into the house and they saw the child with Mary, his mother, they bowed down and they worshiped him. I love that because they knew who Jesus was. They knew that he was gonna be the savior of the world. And so they immediately begin to worship him. That's the opportunity that you and I have as Christians. We know how great God is. We know all the wonderful things that he's done in our life and what has happened to get us up to this point so that we can be Christians. And it's our privilege to be able to worship him. It says they came into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, they bowed down and worshiped him. They opened their treasure boxes and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Three types of gifts. A lot of times that's why we say there were three wise men. The Bible doesn't actually say that, but there were three gifts. So we think maybe there were three different wise men that came to see Jesus that day. And you know, it wasn't, I've got this really pretty Christmas gift right here. I don't know if they brought it wrapped up in a box like that perfectly or if it was something that was maybe in a jar since they were fragrances, a couple of them, uh, the things that they brought to Jesus. But however they brought their gifts, I know it was beautiful. I know that it was heartfelt. It was something that was meaningful to them and had value. And they also brought their own worship. So this year at Christmas, when you're giving gifts to your family and friends, when you're giving in church, uh, sowing into the house of God, when you're giving your worship to God, just remember to give your absolute best. You'll be like one of these wise men who are following Jesus, searching after him. And when you get in his presence, you worship and you give everything that you have. That is what Christmas is all about. Tis a season to be. Hey, hey, we're rolling. Oh. Hey guys, it's Tommy. <laughs> it's Kinsey. And you know what time it is. It's game, game time. time! So today's game, we have two Christmas trees and two. six ornaments. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start at the back of the room and we have to race to see who can put their ornaments on the tree the fastest and keep them on. Of course, you know, speed demon. Boys shall be winning this one. Girls are way better at decorating from personal experience. But, but we're the only... one who chops down the tree so you can decorate. Well, good thing this one's fake. All right, so I what you need, anyway. you're gonna need to only, don't know what I was about to say there. You're Second. gonna need a small Christmas tree, of course. You're gonna need about six ornaments in space so you can run back and forward, of course. But you can only pick up one ornament at a time. Girls. Boys. Anyways. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's go. That's where you put that look. <laughs> hey. oh, oh. Of course. Hey. Hey. Ow. Hey. 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 Done. Ooh. 
Wow, you didn't even give your tree space. Really? Look at this boring Christmas tree. Look at this. No decorations on the back. You know what that means? Girls win tree decorating. At least my tree was fancy, you know. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed game time. See you next time. Bye! Hi, Joy Zone. It's me, Duke. And Jaffa. Hey, Jaffa, this question's for you. What does Christmas mean to you? It means not having school and spending time with your family, but the most uh, important part is celebrating Jesus' birth. Good job, that was great. Now dude, this question is for you. Why do we celebrate Christmas? Because we celebrate to celebrate Jesus' birthday. That's awesome. Happy birthday, Jesus. I'm so glad it's Christmas. All the carols and bells make a holiday swell, and it's all. Hey guys, it's Tommy. And it's Kinsey. And we just want to thank you guys for joining and watching us today. We hope you had so much fun in Joy Zone. We want to give you guys a couple ways you guys can connect with us while you're at home. You can follow us on Facebook at Abundant Life Christian Center. And we also have a group called Joy Zone that you can join. We also have a YouTube channel where you can subscribe and you type in ALCC. It's super easy and you can watch all the videos that we have ever recorded. Ever? Ever. Ever. All the way back. Well, that's enough for today. We'll see you guys next week. Bye! Bye.